okay good day guys good day to you all welcome back to the formula sports channel thanks for being here a gentle reminder as always to please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it is indeed a free way to support the channel and as always as always as always we do appreciate the support you know a big shout out to all the subscribers and all the viewers right in this in this video i just want to you know touch a little bit on you know some of the the top reggae boy transfers that has taken place so far in the in the you know recently opened summer transfer window right and you know the, the, well it's about four names here i want to i want to touch on a little bit norman campbell kahim paris amari bell and greg lay right and you know i just i just want to touch on and these transfers a bit because um just in light of the, the the news recently emerging that greg lay you know has signed for more right in the more fc in the english third division right english the english football league one right which is the english third division right um I already touched on Norman Campbell. I already did a video on Norman Campbell. But just to reiterate it, I mean, it can't be said enough. You know, we are so proud of Norman Campbell. You know, big move to Kukariki, right, in the in the Serbian First Division. And you guys know the Serbian First Division is no joke. No joke, right? Um, So, you know, big move right there for Norman Campbell, the team that he has gone to he has moved from grafica in the second division in serbia to kuka riki in the first division and that team in the in the last season in the last serbian season finished third behind red star belgrade and partisan belgrade and they will be playing european football next season right so that is a good look for norman campbell his three goals and two assists for grafica in 12 games in the second division would have impressed enough what that's that, that's what five goal contributions in 12 games would have impressed enough to land him a, a move with the big boys right so you know we're happy for, for norman campbell and he recently made his debut to for q Kariki, right it, the very first game after he had signed as a matter of fact it it, it he played the game even before it was publicly announced that he had signed right and he, he scored it was a 1-0 victory and he scored on his debut right so that is a big deal that is a very good look you know a debut goal for an attacking player on you know on his debut that that always does a young player's confidence the world of good i'm sure he he, he would be feeling a little bit more comfortable after that goal and you know would, would would feel like he he belongs at this level right so again congrats to norman campbell we wish him all the best in the upcoming you know serbian first division playing for one of the top teams in serbia up next kahim paris a player that i'm really really happy that has made the move right i i watched games with kahim paris in the in the slovenian second division and it was clear, it was clear that Kahim Paris was above that level, right? It was clear that he was above that level, right? I mean, when you score what, um, 18 goals in 22 games, I think it was like, I think it was 17 goals in, in, in 20 games in the regular season and then you had the playoffs as well. Overall in Slovenia, he scored 22 goals. He scored 18 goals rather in 22 games and you know that's obviously that's obviously obviously very good right very very good right um you know sometimes he played as a winger sometimes he was deployed as well not a winger a wing forward right a, a lot of times we're confused that at times but you know the proper term for it is a wing forward right and then there were times when he played in a front two right so you know and and as i said kahim rather looked very good in slovenia and i really wanted him to make the move this summer i was a little bit concerned when i saw 
when I saw Cavaliers. Because he has really made two moves this summer if you think about it, you know. Kirk bought him a little bit earlier on in the in the in the in the summer. And then, you know, he has made the move now to FC Copa. Or Co Copper. Right? Not so sure it's pronounced, but you know, in the in the Slovenian first division. So Kirk bought him earlier in the summer and then sold him. And then FC Copper bought him again this summer i was a little bit concerned when i saw cavalier sell him to kirka because kirka did not kirka fell just short of you know qualifying for the the, the slovenian first division right they, they 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 lost in the playoffs unfortunately and you know i was a little bit concerned because i knew that they were first division clubs after Kahim Paris and I didn't want him to spend another year at a level that he had conquered already, right? Which is the Slovenian second division, right? So I was a little bit concerned when I saw he made the move like the, I mean, he was on loan at Kirk. So I was a little bit concerned when I saw that um, Kirk bought him because I was saying to myself, you know, why, why Cavaliers didn't just sell him to one of the first division clubs that was interested in him. You know, I don't know what's the story behind that. But they sold him to Kirka. And then, you know, um, Kirka sold him to Copper, Right? In, in the same summer. So, you know, I, I personally would have liked to have seen him, you know, playing for, you know, a, 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 one of the, a, a bigger club, so to speak. Or a, or a club that, is, that, because the club finished what? Copper finished in ninth place. Right out of um, 10 teams, I think, in the Slovenian first division. In all fairness to them, um, it was about three points separating ninth place from fifth place because Kirk um, Copperada finished on 42 points in ninth place and Bravo finished on 45 points in fifth place. Right, so obviously, not a lot between fifth place and ninth place there. But you know, I still would have you know, Copper also was in the in the second division, you know, in in recent years as well. You know, they had dropped out of the first division and had, had landed in, found themselves in the second division. They returned to the first division, and you know, I I I don't know. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I'm very very happy that he has Kain Paris has gotten the hell up out of the Slovenian second division, a level that he has conquered. It's not good for a young player. To play more than one season at a level that he has conquered. So I'm happy that he's in the first division. You know, I'm, I would have just preferred if it was a bigger team. You know, I'm one of the better teams, so to speak, in the Serbia. In the Slovenian, rather, first division. I know Maribor was heavily linked with Paris as well. You know, but, you know, he has made the move to the... To the... the, the Slovenian first division so congratulations to Kahim Paris and we wish him all the best hopefully his team you know doesn't find themselves in any re relegation struggles and hopefully you know the team can provide him with enough support for him to you know do well in the Slovenian first division and get some goals under his belt right because it's never a good look when a forward you know doesn't have the the statistics to back right and you, you know you want to to get in an ideal world a forward wants to get as much service as frequently as possible right it it it, it makes the player look good right it helps with, with the player's confidence and it also helps to put the player in better positions to be able to score more goals and up their stats you know, and you know, obviously, if, if if Paris does well in the Slovenian first division, there is also the possibility of a move to a, an even better league, which will further Kahim's development, right? All right, up next is Amari Bell. Um, Amari Bell was at Blackburn, Rovers in the, in the, um, in the, in the English League Championship. And... You know, he, 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 he got some game time. He got a lot. Well, he got a fair amount of game time. He wasn't the starter, right? 
Um, but in the in when I saw him for Blackburn, he looked good. Right? I mean, I, I didn't watch every Blackburn game, right? And there were games that I that I watched that you know he he wasn't starting or he didn't play any at all. But when I saw him a couple of times for Blackburn, he looked good. He looked like he was a championship level starter in my estimation. You know, I don't know if it's a case whereby the, the starting player was just so was just that so was just so good basically that even though Amari Bell looked like a, a starter to me, you know, that starting left fullback would have just been so good that he would have kept a good player in Amari Bell on the bench. But you know, yeah, so I'm happy for Bell. I'm happy for Bell, you know. He, he, he is moving to Luton Town, which is an English um, championship club as well. Interestingly enough, by the way, interestingly enough, um, Luton actually finished above Blackburn in the just concluded championship season. Luton finished in 12th place and Blackburn finished in 15th place, albeit five points separated them, but still, you know, Luton, Luton seemed... You know, Luton, Luton's manager seemed to have had a lot of praise for the player and, you know, Luton really brought him on board and you can tell that they brought him on board with the intention of him being a starter for them. And really and truly, I don't think a Marbell would leave a club where he was benching, you know, to, to try and get game time and go somewhere else where he wasn't given certain, you know, assurances, more than likely contractual assurances that he will get regular regular or even more regular game time than what he got this season right so amari bell you know congratulations he seemed pretty excited about his move and you know we wish amari bell all the best we wish him a good season in the championship and hopefully he does well for luton and luton do well as well and finally greg lay greg lay re, um news um breaking that Greg Lay has left Aberdeen and has signed for by the way um Bell 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 moved on a, a free transfer I forgot to mention that it was a it was a free transfer and it's the same thing for Greg Lay as well so Greg Lay would have moved from Aberdeen in the Scottish Premiership right and you know landed at Morecambe in the english third division they were in the english fourth division in the recently concluded season but they finished fourth and gained gained um promotion through the playoffs right so they are now in league one english league one right in the english third division right so you know and greg lay has in the last two seasons had has had his game time significantly limited partly because of injury well a good amount of it is because of injury right um he has been out um in the last two seasons for an extended period because of injury right so you know i don't know if, if that was what contributed to i mean i don't know if aberdeen was not too keen on keeping the player because of these injuries and you know greg lay probably decided that it was probably best to move i don't know if greg lay was probably you know never felt like he was gonna feature much i don't know for aberdeen i don't know the reasons why but i don't know if aberdeen was even keen on re and, and signing him right but he has left on a free transfer and he is heading to Morecambe fc in the in the english third division hopefully it's a good move for him hopefully he can stay fit and stay you know injury free and hopefully he can get some game time right um he previously would have played in the english third division for bury a recently um is it would you call it extinct i mean they had some financial difficulties and were kicked out of the english league system and you know i've been desperately trying to get back ever since but you know in previous years greg lay would have started for bury in the english third division and would have been their main guy at left fullback right and would have played a lot of games for bury in the english third division so he's he's used to the league 
you know he has played in it before and has played consistently in it you know and, and has previously been a starter for a, a, a club in the english third division so hopefully things can work out for greg lee this um season you know hopefully he can stay injury free hopefully um the player can stay fit and get some more game time under his belt hopefully he can become a starter right for more come FC in the English third division. Hopefully things can work out well for Greg Lee in this um, upcoming season in the English third division. So guys, that's just a, a quick rundown of you know some of the main transfers that has taken place with some of our reggae boys, right? Um, you know, we wish them all the best, right, in their in their new environments right to wish them all the best and you know hope that they will have a good time right and a productive time at their new clubs so guys that's my two cents take care stay safe and until next time